Hello and welcome. So we're still over in uh, in New Gridania. Um So I may have signed out a little bit early and didn't do a couple of things that I probably needed to. Uh, first, we're going to actually grab the botanist quest. Um, so we have our, our thing equipped. Now, in order to reduce the amount of pain that these quests will do, I went ahead and do, did a lot of the gathering for for the next couple of quests off screen as well as doing some crafting so that we don't have to worry about it so we're gonna get this done we're gonna go do the, do the leather work and then we'll head back to uh, Ulda wants 10 pots of latex that's perfectly fine Well, what do you know? I got latex right on me. Here you go. Uh, easy to find, easy to harvest. Makes it easy. Makes an ideal task for young botanists. just us to hone our skills and guess what <laughs> I already got the next stuff it would have been easier with some of this but what can you do? hacking away at trees doesn't make you a botanist so, you have, you have the air of a woman who's at ease with the world around her. Well, I mean, when you can burn everything otherwise. And this is why I did it off screen. 50 pots of maple sap. Oh. We'll sissy outside. Yep. Yep, here you go. 50 pots of maple sap. That's going to be a lot of maple syrup. Yep, they're going to make maple syrup. Now, technically, we could make maple syrup and we could make maple sugar as a culinarian, but we don't have access to culinarians just yet. Uh, cakes, car tarts, toffees, and chocolates. Make all kinds of things with maple syrup. They're going to use it for sweets for the children that were orphaned by the calamity. Got carried away with wine. Yep. In addition to maple sap, gather other foodstuffs. It's very true. <laughs> There's a lot of food stuff that you can gather as a as a botanist. Um, the other gathering one for for that is the is fishing. I will not subject. If I do level fishing, I will not subject you to watching that. No. No. Mm -hmm. There's a level of nope, which is watching fishing. So, 
Yep. Now I have Arbor Call. I'll grab the hemp and work gloves. I probably could craft them, but you know, whatever. But we have one more quest. Let's see. Oh, they need 99 crow feathers. And while that sounds awesome, we're not going to do that. We're going to go over to Leatherbrook. I forgot about that. I wasn't. I wasn't even thinking about that. No. I've had enough fun for one day without doing the just collecting a whole shit ton of crow feathers. I will do that later. That, that is a task for for uh, two o'clock in the morning and nobody's on, Eric. Let's go over here, and I actually have a couple of quests that I can complete. And he has a little flying kitty! Isn't that an adorable little kitty? Let's talk to her. <laughs> You've passed the first test, gripping your knife by the handle and not the pointy end. If you had the sense that go the gods gave a Kokobo's arse, you'd realize that's hardly the case, that you have to hunt it down yourself. <laughs> there we go. So we will have her inspect one of our pieces of leather. <laughs> this is indeed leather, after a fashion. <laughs> Work is amateurish to the extreme. Leather is unevenly tanned and practically unusable. But we show promise. About as much promise as the leather you haphazardly crafted. <laughs> Well, it is apparent that you paid due respect for the life, for life from which it came. Had you performed any worse, I'd have cast you out with a second thought. But you didn't, so I won't. Approach each task in earnest as you did today, and I'll continue to advise you. However, you alone are responsible for your development. This is a business we're running, and neither I nor your seniors have the time to hold your hand. Apply yourself to learning our techniques, and return here when you have acquired some skills. Perhaps I will have an errand for you to run. We will get all of this, which works for me. And I may have already collected the next stuff. <laughs> Getting used to the knife that I gave you? Gods know it doesn't happen often, but you've chanced to find me un unoccupied. See, so you make three leather chokers. Need circles of leather and animal sinew. Hunting your own pelts is fine. I know I what I said before. And that was about assuming it was necessary. Choosing to do so is another matter. <laughs> it may teach you to appreciate the source of your livelihood. Not all adventurers are want to choose this method, but you are an adventurer. Don't mind the burn marks. Oh, leather chokers. I suppose there's no denying these are leather chokers. 
<laughs> so Opa Opa are little monkey guys. And uh, the truth be told, an Opa Opa could have achieved similar results given skin, sinew, and time. I don't mean to make light of your efforts. You fulfilled the order precisely as requested, and a job well done. Now I will teach you something to supplement your learning. Physical training, the body can be made strong and resistant to injury, not so for the throat, which means ever remains a vulnerable point. Although leather chokers provide less protection than a metal gorget, its simple design makes it ideal for everyday applications. The simplicity also makes it an ideal choice for beginners practicing basic techniques and for guild masters assessing their progress. <laughs> As you are, you'd make a passable leather worker, one among the nameless multitudes who scrape, who scrape a living out there. Whether you rise to become something more is contingent upon your efforts. Consider this amateur's all a reward for your efforts. Find an indispensable partner to the head knife that you continue in your training. Now I must return to my work. If you chance to find me unoccupied again, mayhap I will teach you something else. Till then, nose to the grindstone! don't really need any of those. I think I made them all already. So, tin pieces it is. Extra extra cash is always welcome. Now this one I did already do. I honestly think you've improved. I have a new task for you. But before that, let me ask you. Are you familiar with the Fenil brand? Or are you not? Eh, we're familiar with it. Of course, how silly of me. Even an adventurer hailing from distant lands should know of the famous brand of leather goods in yours, yeah? Anyway, all goods sold under the distinguished Fenil name are crafted by none other than our leather workers. I've been asked to fill an especially large order on short notice, and so our stores of hard leather are nearly depleted. Sincerely, how best to handle this situation when you arrived. I'm sure you see where this is going. <laughs> a dozen circles of hard leather, as fast as you can make them. Well, guess what? I already have a mate. Better than she expected? Sweet! More difficult to boil leather than tan it, but the process results in a stronger, more durable product. These properties make hard leather the material of choice for those who prefer stouter armor. Fruits of your label should serve the guild well, as training materials for new initiates. <laughs> you seem troubled. Surely you did not imagine that your leather would be used to, uh, for the construction of fit you goods. <laughs> Gods, no. Only our elite leather workers, handpicked by me, are permitted to make wares that bend the fit you brand. We had enough le hard leather to complete and yield commissions, some of the materials used, despite being of excellent quality, were originally intended to be distributed as practice materials. As such, the initiate supplies were ran dangerously long. Come now, there's no call to be disheartened. Do you not see that in furnishing the beginners with supplies, you have proven that you are no longer a beginner? <laughs> you have given them that which they could not make themselves. When you first arrived, I would have never entrusted you such a task. Make no mistake, you are improving. <laughs> Why, at this rate, my great-great-grandchildren may yet commission you to make a shoe sole, or even two. <laughs> Speaking of commissions, I think you've proven yourself sufficiently skilled to handle orders without my supervision. Go to see Gallant on the Carmine Canopy if you're interested in taking on a few guild levs. You would gain much needed experience and earn yourself some coin. But enough chatter. Come and see me again when you've further refined your technique. Oh, and if you make it during my lifetime, I dare say you'll find more find me more in a talkative mood. Okay, so both of those will do the same thing. I'll get the gloves. Do, do, do. And now, 
we're actually looking somewhat like a crafter. I did make a couple of other little things that, while useful, were more to complete lists than anything else. Um, but now that we've got ten in both of those, other than the ridiculous crows thing, let's return to Uldah. two things while we're here in Uldah. And I keep running up here instead of going to where I need to be. The first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go to the Weaver's Guild. I actually have a list of what I need. So we'll be doing some crafting here for a moment. And you'll see why I won't subject you to this too often. So I need hemp and breeches. So I've got the leather, hemp and yarn, hemp and cloth. So three... Could have just bought the leather. Oh well. <laughs> Later on, you won't be able to really buy the stuff, so it doesn't really make much of a s much sense to put it off. So as you can see, I'm raising up the quality. It's not a 100% thing for being able to make. Although you can raise it up. And as you see, once it gets past the half, it jumps for odds. Two spindles of hemp and yarn. Uh, high. When it has that weird little squiggly by it, the weird little squiggly means that uh, it's high quality. Nice relaxing night. It's a good one for crafting for the most part. Oh, didn't get a good, get that there, but that's fine. Do, 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 do. Inner Quiet's a fun one, but I don't really use it a whole lot at lower levels. It gets a lot more useful when you're at higher levels. I haven't really seen the weird deviations that you get later on. Oh, we are now an amateur.
Oh, we got some more. So the house is finally looking decent. Got it all cleaned up for Christmas for whenever mom comes over. Got my nice little Christmas village over there. Definitely getting another... Got some plans for that for next year. I want to make it look fancy. Just for fun. Now you notice she actually took the stuff from before. So that is a thing. You gotta be careful of what you, what you give. Sometimes you don't want to give a high quality item for a quest. If you do, oops, oh well. If you do give a high quality item for any given quest, it'll it'll increase the, your rewards. No. Well, double really the rewards, uh, both EXP and uh, and the gold reward will be will be increased. So I need three pairs of hempen breeches. So I need to make two, four, six of the undyed hempen cloth. You'll notice that you don't quite get the same results with higher level crafts. So as you continue, it becomes less likely for you to actually, well, not so much. It becomes more difficult for you to make high quality things. Makes sense. Although at some point it does become kind of moot. It's just so easy for you to make it that you, know, you can do it. You can pretty much do it in your sleep. Now I am going to do something special here in a moment. I made three. I can make two more, which would only give us five. So three, four. And you'll notice the quality is already up. When you use high quality items, it makes it more likely for for the end result to be high quality. And there we go. We have a 100% chance for high quality undyed hem and cloth. And would you make a high quality item? It's it tends to give more experience than just a regular one. Um, so it's always useful to at least try for high quality and see if you can get it. Okay, now it's time for me to get what make what I actually came here for which is the hemp and breeches
Oh, 90% chance. And of course. Although that may have been more of just because it was my first time making it, not because random. But there's always that random chance that you get really close and it still won't give it to you. Really? That might just be my luck. Sometimes people just have crappy luck. Come on, give me at least one. There we go, we got one. And then it said the next one that I was going to need was hemp and cloth. Seriously? I'm going to double check because that sounds really weird. So, we'll accept this, resume the training. Yes, we, we have made quite a bit of yarn and cloth. can't simply rip it out of the ground. A scythe is needed, as well as working knowledge of botany. So, in the future, if we want, we can just go gather our own moco grass. <laughs> I will not accept a newfound passion for botany and its practitioners as an excuse for a late delivery of breaches. <laughs> There's one of those, one of those, and one of those. And they'll say, do you really want to trade it? Yep. Yeah, we'll trade it. We might try for a variation, but we opted for orthodoxy, a wise decision. Him clothing is inexpensive and durable, making it popular among miner, farmers, miners, and others who work the land. Such customers provide comfort and mobility above all else. They may appreciate more elegant forms, but they will not sacrifice function for them. Garment has a purpose, a purpose that you must always bear in mind. Scalloped hem is about as useful to a miner as nipples on a gladiator's breastplate. <laughs> now that we have a spinning wheel. Let's see what he wants. He is perturbed. Oh. Well, okay. He does just want plain two, four, six, So I can make so I can make two right now. Oh, yeah. I was expecting something a little bit more. Oh shit! 
I forgot rule one. I forgot rule one. No. We still managed it. But no. No, no, no. Rule one. Rule one. Always equip the new shit. <laughs> it won't always give you good, better results, but it doesn't hurt. As you can see right now, I'm doing a little better than I was. 82% chance. Two, three. Yeah, I got the so for home. I I did make my the chocolate covered pretzels for mom, which I will be giving for her, giving to her for Christmas, and she should rather enjoy those. Mom is notoriously difficult to shop for, simply because she just buys whatever she wants whenever she not wants it. So it can make it difficult for me to shop for her for Christmas. Still, it doesn't mean I don't try to make get something for her. Unfortunately, cloth crafting, not really my thing. I think it would probably end up fairly poorly. This probably isn't the most exciting episode, but, you know, this is a good chunk. Oh, my gear condition is lowering. No, I'm not quite done yet. When you get high enough in, in crafting, you can actually repair your stuff. I'm just not there yet. Oh, level 12. This, this was definitely a uh, slight mistake. Trying to just go through and I will make sure that in the future I won't do any crafting on screen unless it's just like one thing. I forgot how time consuming it ends Oh, at the end of the day. This will eat up that other one that was sitting there.
And then the rest of them shouldn't be nearly as bad because I can use both of them. And 14%, that's a good jump up in there. You know what, I'm not going to risk it. Knowing my luck, I'm not going to risk it. And the bonus to EXP is pretty, like I said, it's double the EXP, so... It's fairly substantial. I don't think we get, got quite that much EXP last time, but that was only because we, we only turned in one of the upgraded versions. And then when we get up higher too, I can actually make a little macro, which is lots of fun. It's just a little thing that I can hit one button and it'll just make it on its own. Halfway there. If I had editing equipment, I would probably edit all this out. But as it were, just gonna. I get to ramble about whatever's on my mind, which. Honestly, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. There's not a whole lot on my mind. Which is what makes crafting so great, really. There's enough. There's enough challenge that I have to sort of focus. But I don't have to be hardcore really making sure that I'm, I'm ultra focused and so that I don't screw something up. Uh, there is a chance that you can always lose a, lose what you make. Uh, well, not lose what you make, but lose the ingredients. But a lot of times you'll actually get your ingredients back so you can try again. Um, later on there's actually an ability that will, if you find that it's not going right, you can, you can decide right then to just cancel it out and get all your ingredients back and try it again. Go last one. Oh my god, that took much longer than I expected. Yes, I will give you all the high quality shit. the immortal flames the immortal flames are the is the grand company that supports this place detachment of ale soaked adventurers from the foreign brigade thought the silver bazaar an appropriate location for about a fisticuffs resulting in pressing need for bandages <laughs> Now weave your hemp and cloth in your sleep, which is a handy talent to have given the fabric's many uses. Made progress, in short. 
In fact, I do believe you're ready to undertake commissions. Okay, so now I can do commissions for for them as well. I'm gonna grab the headgear. And then I can do this. So now we have a faceplate to protect, protect us, but our lovely hair is still visible. So that's um, two of the crafter skills, uh, alchemist and alchemist and goldsmith are available here in here in Ulda. The carpenter, uh, yeah, when carpenters in over in New Gridania. Blacksmith and armor are both over in in the in an area that we haven't been to. Goldsmith is here in Old Da. Alchemist is here in Old Da, and Culinarian is over in the other one. Uh, we can also pick up mining while we're here. If you're interested in seeing in any of these any of the storylines for any of these. Let me know. I don't mind doing them. They're actually kind of fun. So, as it were, I've rambled on enough. So, I am signing off. Have a good day.